Hi everyone, and welcome to Philco Mathematics. Here we provide solutions to mathematical equation into detail. Now we have another problem here to deal with. X squared plus 4 to the power of 2 equals 25. Now what I want us to do now is to subscribe to my channel if we have not so that we can learn you know have access to my other videos now the first thing is to remove this square and then to do that we'll have to take the square root of both sides and that means that on the other hand i'll have plus or minus square root of 25. Now since I introduced the square root, it has to reflect on both sides of the equation. This will take this away and then we have x squared plus 4 and is equal to plus or minus square root of 25 is 5. Mind you, we have two solutions now, right? So we have x, we're having two equations rather, x squared plus 4 equals 5, or x squared plus 4 equals negative 5, right? So let's do this. To deal with this, our x squared will be equal to 5 minus 4. So we have 5 minus 4 and then we have x squared to be equal to 1 now what are we saying we are saying that okay we want to get the value of x this right here is still a quadratic equation because of the square so to remove this we'll take the square root again and it's always plus or negative you know plus or minus square root of 1 on the other side so this takes this away and x is plus or minus square root of 1 is 1. Meaning that our x, x1 is equal to 1 and then x2 for now is equal to negative 1. So at this we have um, this solution, right? But then let's go straight to the other equation that we left out which is this. We got x squared plus 4 equals negative 5. Now, what do we do? This has to go to the other side. So, we have x squared equals negative 5, negative 4. Meaning that our x squared is equal to negative 9. And like we always do, we need to remove this square root. So, that will give us square root of x squared equals plus or minus square root of negative 9. We want to get the complete solution. So this is taking this away. And our x will now be plus or minus square root of negative 9. But then I can pick this negative because if you press calculator, you cannot get square root of negative 9. So I'll have x equals plus or minus square root of 9 times square root of negative 1. So now our x is, this is plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 times square root of negative 1 is i. Now, okay, so our x will now be plus or minus 3i and here again we have two more solutions x is equal to 3i or negative 3i now let's bring the four solutions together okay the four solutions our x1 is equal to 1 our x2 is equal to negative 1 then we have x3 which is equal to 3i 
then our x4 is equal to negative 3i. But mind you, it is only equation 1 and 2 that are real solutions. The other equation, equation, um, okay, sorry, solution 1 and 2, the first solution and the second solution are the real solution. And then um, this and this are imaginary solutions. Thank you for watching.